G'day Tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I brought you a game in uh, a new tank uh, in my garage, the ELC AMX. A uh, bit of history behind the uh, ELC AMX. It was a prototype for a uh, paratrooper uh, tank. Basically, so paratroopers could be supported by armour. Um, there's only one prototype that was built, one working prototype, which I believe is. No, he's in front somewhere, I'm not 100% sure. Um, might have to look at that one day, see if I can go with it, but be nice. But anyway, um, yeah, but it, was, it never took off. Um, in the game, it's a tier 5 light tank. Um, one with some of the best uh, performance in the game, in my opinion. Um, it's interesting, this tank. Um, I've worked out from watching other ELC drivers that the successful ones don't go and scout immediately. I mean, there's no there's no real need to, um, especially with sewer scouting. A lot of them seem to play it like TDs at first, and uh, this is what I'm going to do here. Um, so we've seen some heavy tanks pop up here, and this thing has brilliant camo values. And I uh, and once I've got a bit more gold, I'll actually pay for some um, some camo on it because it does need some. It just look cool. So we take a shot at the M6 there and immediately get out of there. Because we've only got 400 hit points and we can't take many hits. But I don't think we were spotted anyway. Aim time with this thing's pretty bad, but we've got such good camo that it doesn't really matter. And we take out the M6. So that's our first kill. That's pretty good. Also, you'll note that the, um, the W and 8 uh, calculator up in the... up up over here has already reached green status um, and what I've found out for a bit of googling and a bit of research that uh, the the uh, ELC AMX is a, uh, a W8 farmer because it's not expected to do lots of damage and see already already I'm performing at um, and I say this in quotation marks unicum level um, whereas I've only shot three times uh, we tried to shoot that until, but I think we shot a bit too early. So we're not going to get any more shots on them. Right, well this is where this tank's got um, some really good acceleration and speed. As you can notice, I'm running just a typical uh, fast tank um, loadout for me. It's just, first is the uh, first aid kit to repair your driver almost immediately and we had some lucky bounces in this light tank which this light tank has no arm it's got 14 front and 12 at the side and I think it's 10 or 8 at the rear not very good at all um, you see we're not too we, you see it you can drown shallow pools like that we're really ballsy and lucky here. Yeah, that's our third kill. We saw our fourth, second kill with the Panzer before. Oh, sorry, my loadout. So four, four, double four for the, uh, the driver. So we don't lose speed and five for the um, what do you call it? the uh, repair kit? Yeah, the repair kit's on double five, so you can repair your tracks immediately if you have to in a hurry. Um, and the last one, it's either a automatic fire extinguisher for me because I've, for, for missions, I've got so many of them. I've got about 50 or so. Um, I've actually never bought one, funnily enough. Um, and in this case, I've got uh, some fuel, which I find just adds a little bit more to the performance of the uh, ELC. I would, if, if I was running this, uh, if, I, if I was worried about um, losing money, I'm oh, sorry, if I was, wasn't worried about making money, I would probably run the uh, the premium full fuel, which is an extra 10% power, power and performance over that. So we've got a HE round for this Hummel. He's seen us, he's going to move, but we take him out in one shot. One of, the usual, one of the usual reasons to load HE in this tank. This tank's got a, a 90mm gun, and it's actually not bad. I mean, the aim time's really slow, and, a lot, and the reload's a bit slow, but... It's it's actually got really good performance. 
Now at this point I was getting a bit greedy. Um, I was like, oh, I'll have to get a Top Gun, so I thought I'll, I'll go get my Top Gun. And I thought I could get this guy, um, but the aim time is awful. Moving the gun any uh, is just terrible. It's got no down depression, which isn't such a bad thing, because half the time you're... Half the time you're zooming around the battlefield trying to kick, kick, stuff, kick stuff in the head. So we thought, well, we might as well just chase this guy. He can't kill us in one hit. Um, I misjudged where that um, SU-85I was. And he hits us in the in the side. Very unlucky there. This thing turns on a dime. We got our uh, top gun. And... I'm about to be really, be really silly here. We should have backed off. He takes us out. But we got Top Gun and we pretty much won this game, so it wasn't a major issue. The only thing is we would have we lost a survive uh, a survival bonus in XP and credits, which wouldn't have been a massive amount anyway. It's tiny. Um other than that, our crew would have got way, a fair bit more experience, but that's, again, nothing major. I, I'm not too worried about that. I've got a bit of coffee. Oh, I'll admit it. I've got two. I've got two coffee. Now, as you can see, I'll just pause this. Um, six kills, 1,475 damage. WM8 of 7,109. Now, that's... Super Unicum, uh, W and eight level. So that's this is why this is a, a W and eight farmer. And if you want to get into a big clan, I don't care at this stage of my World of Tanks career, as for want of a better word, because um, I like having fun in this game. I'm not too worried about making being competitive about it, but. Don't go out of your way to grind this tank for W and eight because they'll work out how you got that W and eight. If they see five hundred to a thousand battles in an ELC AMX, they'll just go, "Well, what's going on?" <laughs> so, um, yeah, they'll expect you to have good levels in other tanks as well, especially their tier tens. So yeah, just a thought, food for thought. Anyway, let's go on to the post game stats. Uh, well, as you can see, um, this was a victory, uh, first class mastery bird, so obviously people are doing far better than this in the LC. Um, we've got Reaper for destroying three or more enemy vehicles in a row with a single shell each. Uh, we got Fire for Effect, uh, cause more damage to enemy vehicles than the hit points of your vehicle, that's always cool. Sharpshooter, hit vehicles with ten or more consecutive shots, which we hit... Oh, that must have been uh, from another game. So, what else we got? Master Gunner, score at least five armor penetrating hits in a row against enemy vehicles. Um, destroy at least two enemy vehicles that cause damage to your vehicle in the battle. Yep, so we did that. Bruiser, destroy enemy vehicle modules or crew injured. Uh, members at least five times in a battle, and we did that quite a number of times. So, we. Yeah, as you see, everything we touched we killed, which was nice. Um, top damage in a scout, which is always always a bit of fun. Um, top XP in a scout as well. Um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this game. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the first real good game in the ELC. I haven't lost many games in this so far, but I, for some reason I seem to have a knack of it, which is kind of awesome. So I really enjoy it. Um, I won't be ever selling this tank, it's too fun to play. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's surprising, that one. Um, shots fired, 10, we um, hit and penetrate all 8 of the hits. Um, damage, 1,475. And one shot was from a distance of 4 and 300 metres, which is really cool, which would have been the first one we took on the M6. Um, penetrations, we took, well, this tank's got no armour pretty much, so, um, although it seems to have a little bit more than the Hellcat, if I remember correctly, but that's fair enough. Um, enemy vehicles spotted, we only spotted two, so we won't really much of a scout that game. Um, 
and we travelled 2.8 kilometres. Um, earned 30,000 credits. This thing's so cheap to run. I mean, I run it with a bit of fuel and it's great. Um, and yeah, we earned 20,000, but we're not here for earning money in this tank. It's, it's, it's purely a fun game. So yeah, that's my um, first really good game the LC. Um, yeah, this this tank's a lot of fun, and as you could have seen from the cat there in the battle, it's also a W and eight farmer. I mean, it was like a, a seven thousand W and eight game. Yeah, really awesome. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for now. Um, bring another replay soon, I'd say. Um, yeah, um, as, as I said, I've been having a lot of good games and a good winning streak recently, but I've not been having a lot of great games. So let me know in the comments if you want okay and or good games that uh not necessarily entertaining but um it's the thing uh, this is the thing I don't have a lot of great games like this this was a great game purely and simply because it was an ELC and I've got Top Gun so yeah I mean yeah let me know what you think also let me th let me know what you want to see in the channel I mean I'm always open to ideas um yeah I just yeah, let me know what you want. If you want to see more musical tanks, I can do those, but people didn't seem to really like those. Um, I need to give you a proper replay of that T49 replay, the old, well, the old T49, that is. I don't have a new one yet, and I don't think I'm going to have one for a while yet, because I don't like the American life line anymore. So, well, sorry, I don't like the M5 Stuart anymore. So, yeah. And yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. <laughs> two. Oh, two heavy tanks. Yeah. Anyway. No, no, that's really that important. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. See you later. Have fun tanking, and I'll talk to you next time.